I just talked to a guy about this. We, I ran into him in the mall, and um, he ran up to me. Um, he was actually Hebrew Israelite, Israelite guy. Was <laughs> what we were talking about. But he was a Hebrew Israelite. Happened to hear one of my messages one time. Ran into him all. He's like, dude, I gotta ask you. Um, I've been doing mushrooms and DMT, and I've been talking to the other side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like he just straight up says it. You know, and he's like, I've been I've been talking to the other side. What he thought he was gonna hear from me was. He asked me, is it real? He thought he was going to hear from me say, no, it's not. Like, that's just, it's happening in your head, right? But I had told, and he goes, I, you know, he goes, it's brought me closer to God, um, you know, through the process. But I have a lot of friends who have not gotten close to God because they've started when they're on the other side, when they do these mushrooms, when they do this DMT. Some of my friends are doing ayahuasca. They're talking to the other spiritual do sides. What? And the other, sp ayahuasca. Um, what? it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the same, it's a, it's a psychedelic act. It's okay. down in like, uh, the Costa wow. Rica and it's a, it's a tea and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's something you go through Got it. Got and it. you go to the other side. Got it. A lot of people, you're speaking in tongues. you could see another speaking. video. <laughs> Anyone could look it up. There's a, there's a Mormon bishop who recently did ayahuasca and he's actually in favor of it. But, wow. but here's, well, there's, here's it, why, it's, you know, it's going into the scientific community and becoming more validated as a. Legitimate source, of therapy, as, yeah. uh, legitimate source of therapy, as legitimate source of therapy, to the extent that, I mean, that's a that's a whole discussion I'd love to have in the podcast. It's just yeah. you know how how should Christians view that? But yeah, yeah, but but basically, yeah. So I'm I'm talking to this guy, and he's like, you know, he he thinks I'm gonna um, disenfranchise his his experience, which that's what he's he's expecting is, is me to just say, no, nah, man, it's not real. You know, it's just it's all in your head. You're going on a trip, and and uh, and I I told him no, I I. I thoroughly believe that you're tapping into something. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the thing. I, I don't think we were created to do that. I think that's why Deuteronomy says it's an abomination right. because of our sin. Um, our sin inhibits our ability to, number one, be able to handle what's right and wrong. Mm -hmm. And number two... Um, there is a demonic side there. There is mm -hmm. one third of there's one third of heaven that's been casted out. Who's on that side that you will interact exactly. with, that you will engage yeah. with. And someone who practices divination, witchcraft, because it's not a model of communication that God has created, mm -hmm. which a lot of our rituals within our Christianity and within older things, these are given to us by God as systems of religious practice, yeah. systems to grow closer with him. What is that? That's prayer. That's reciting. That's all these things that right. we know, right? Scripture reading and right. things like that. Mm -hmm. Meditation. Mm -hmm. These are things mm -hmm. God's given us, Physical right? Physical bread and wine. 100%. Liturgies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Songs, psalms. Structure of authority, um, elder, bishop, deacon. I mean, these yeah. are all... You could you have know. spiritual experiences uh, uh, singing worship, having mm -hmm. songs. Th these, are, these are modems and models that God has They're given tools. us. Yeah. They're tools. They're so, not the substance. They just get us to that connection. And he's with created God. us for that, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, yeah. you know, he could have created any other form to, pr to to talk to him. He gave us prayer, right? Mm -hmm. So when you practice witchcraft, divination, we we would say we don't we're not doing any of those things because we're not we're not per se saying that we're tapping into the other side. Yeah. We're not we're not almost like the reason why these phenomenons of late, like Stranger Things and other things, is because there is a reality to those sides that no one wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. But there's a reality to those metaphysical sides that that we are we're also spirit. We're mind, body, spirit. So there's there's an inclination within side of us that wants our spirit to experience the spiritual side of things, which truly is only found by the power of God, right? Right. But, well, but but, yeah. they're, but they're but their spirit. So now they're so when we watch Stranger Things, we go, man, this feels oddly familiar and oddly certain aspects of it. Like otherwise, it's, part of it's just a show. But many people they watch. That's why metaphysical movies and shows and metaverse is such a big deal because people are saying this feels this feels oddly familiar, yet it it feels oddly fascinating. I feel. I feel connected to this, you know, but but also at the same time, you say, but I don't know how, I don't know where. Well, I think that's part of the fall. I think that's part of the disconnect from God that ultimately Christ um, brought us back into unity with God. But people, well, well Ecclesiastes you know, says He's put eternity in the in the heart of every man. Right. So there's something within us in, that knows that God exists and that there's there's an eternal realm of of judgment. Um, yeah, and and a, a place where we have to give an account for our actions. Um, but I've given this a lot of thought because I think the Christian community needs to become more cognizant and aware 
with the growing development of DMT and ayahuasca because it is it is becoming more mainstream. Um, it's becoming more of a source of therapy for things like um, uh, PTSD, uh, veterans traumas, and yeah. traumas. Apparently, you go into this, you have this experience, and um, got people are literally freed up from a lot of addictions and everything. But I have a I've given this a lot of thought because so my whole understanding of it, what, what takes place is um, you you enter the realm, you enter another dimension when you take when you take these drugs. First of all, every religious um, experience, every religious um, religion has a mystical component to this religion, whether Judaism, Muslim, Christianity, whatever. And th- and they understand this 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 that you can enter this state of a higher dimension through meditation, through chants, through so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, when Christians do it, we are pursuing and we are seeking the one true God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and His Father. That's who we're seeking. And oftentimes, when you commit to that discipline, you will have visions and you will have spiritual experiences. Um, it it's discipline, though. It takes discipline, and you know. What, what happens with this drug, it's a, um, it, it's, a, um, it's a lazy way to enter the realm of what I believe is principalities and powers that Paul yeah. talks about. It's the realm of what you said, just reiterating what you said. It's the realm of principalities and powers and spiritual forces in the heavenly places. And some of these, some of these are, their personalities differ as much as our individual personalities yeah. differ. They're, some are mischievous. Some are angels of light. Some are, um, you know, more neutral. So, but, yeah. but you know, that darkness is going to, it's going to show us what we want to, to be shown. You know, it may appear as an angel of light. Some people have experiences that are, that are more dark. Mm-hmm. So it varies. But, but I think when you, you are opening yourself up and a person who is not protected by Christ, yeah. mm-hmm. a person who is not under the covering of the blood of Christ, of, of, yeah. of, of Christ himself, is at the mercy, like, like the, those in Eph- Ephesus who tried, to, yeah. who tried to cast out demons and they were kicked out and abused by those demons, says, Paul we know, Jesus we, Peter, Jesus we know, but who are you? Yeah. In other words, uh, y- y- you're, not, you're not spiritual. You're not, you're, not, you're not at a level to have authority over us. And so I think when the average person goes into this place, they're just at the mercy of these, these forces.